I am Selva Prabhakaran. In this, let's understand the intuition behind the Bernoulli distribution in very clear detail. We will make it as simple as possible so that you will never forget. Okay, so far we have been looking at normal distribution. Variables that are random variables that are continuous in nature. For example, heights, weights, blood pressure, marks in exams. These are some examples of random variables that can follow a normal distribution usually, right? But when we talk about Bernoulli distribution, we always deal with discrete random variables. Discrete means categorical in nature. That too, with respect to Bernoulli distribution, it can hold only two possible values that can be defined as either a success or a failure. Right? Success we will typically denote it as 1 and failure we will denote it as 0. Only two possible outcomes. For example, say you are doing a medical test and the test result come as positive, it could be positive or negative, that could be an example of a Bernoulli distribution. Likewise, job application, you got the job or you did not get the job. Again, success or failure. Similarly, in elections, whether you got voted or you did not win the election. So in short, Bernoulli distribution is a probability distribution where you have only two possible outcomes and only two possible outcomes. All right, it could either be marked as either one or zero. Now, let's consider this. We have seen few examples of Bernoulli distribution. Now, can we consider a die roll to follow a Bernoulli distribution? Can this be possible? If you think about it, a die roll can take six possible values. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six possible values exist, right? So typically, this is not going to be an example for, a suitable example for Bernoulli distribution. But if you define it in such a way that, say, getting a six equals to success, equals to a success, and anything other than six, other than six equates to a failure, equate to a failure, then in that case, so this will be marked as 1 and this will be marked as 0. In this kind of a case, you can reframe this problem to follow a Bernoulli distribution. Now, let's extend this a little bit further. Now, assuming this die, this die we have here to be a fair die, let's say, okay, can we compute the probability of success in this case? Now, we know that getting a 6 is a success. Getting a 6 is a success. Anything other than 6 is not a success, not a success. Now, here we know that probability of getting a 6 equals to 1 by 6. There are 6 possible outcomes and in fair die means you get equal chance, you have equal chance of getting any of these outcomes, right? So, 6 possible outcomes. You can get a 6 at a probability of 1, by, 1 divided by 6. Likewise, probability of not getting a 6 is going to be equal to 5 by 6. So, we know these numbers. So, in this case, the probability of success is nothing but 1 by 6. And probability of not success, probability of failure, probability of failure is 5 by 6. Now, with respect to Bernoulli distribution, we simply denote the probability of success with the term P. Likewise, probability of failure, we denote it with term Q, which is nothing but 1 minus P. Now, given this information, the PMF of a Bernoulli distribution might look something like this. You have 0 and 1 here. With respect to normal distribution, we are talking about PDF, probability density function. But with discrete probability distribution, such as Bernoulli distribution, we talk about PMF, which is probability mass function. So in this case, we have the probability on the y-axis. Now, in this case, the probability of failure is 5 by 6. So this, this point here is 5 by 6 and probability of success here is 1 by 6, right? This is, this is success and this is failure. Let's look at the formula for the probability mass function. f of x is written as the probability of success raised to the power of x multiplied by, this is nothing but probability of failure, all right? This is success, this is failure. Failure raised to the power of 1 minus x. And we know that x can either be either be 1 or 0, no other value. Now, we substitute the values for x. So, f of 0, which is nothing but probability of 0, is going to be p of 0 multiplied by 1 minus p. This is failure. This is success again. This will get cancelled out. So, we are left with 1 minus p power 1, which works out to be 5 by 6. So, this is the probability of failure, all right? So, this is for the dice roll case and we saw that probability of getting a 6 in the die is 1 by 6. That's where this is coming from. Likewise, the probability of success that is getting a 6 in this case 
is going to be p power p power 1 multiplied by failure power 0 okay so the answer is 1 by 6 in this case likewise we can compute the mean of the bernoulli distribution which is the expected value now x again can take 1 or 0 only right so for all values of x we sum up x multiplied by f of x on it x can take only either 0 or 1 right so for 0 this term and for 1 we have this term if you do the substitutions this term will get cancelled out and you are left with 1 multiplied by the probability of success which turns out to be 1 by 6 in this case similarly we define the variance as expectation of x squared minus the square of the expectation so we get these values we do the substitutions and finally we are left with 5 by 36 as the variance